this community. Now, All right, breaking news. We have a shooting in Jamaica. To Jamaica Hospital. One 33-year-old man is dead. Another 33-year-old man is in serious condition. The other two are expected to make a full recovery. Police searching for the gunman who opened fire at this group of men around 3.15 p.m. along Fouch Boulevard and 143rd Street. The men were all standing by a silver Jeep. That car now littered with bullet holes. Police say the gunman ran away on foot. You're about to hear from a man who was driving along the street and came across one of the victims who was shot face down on the ground. He jumped in to help him. Take a listen. When I got to the light over here, I saw what looked like a body. Uh, I was hoping it was just a jacket, but when I got close, it was it was somebody lying face down in the middle of the street. I got out to see if I could halt. Um, I was talking to the man. Uh, there were more people shot. I started looking around. There was a car filled with bullet holes. There were other bodies lying around. And Jared telling us that it was an absolutely traumatic scene to just stumble upon. Police have not made any arrests yet. If you have any information on this deadly shooting, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers. But we did notice that a lot of homes in this area, they have ring cameras, they have surveillance video, and that's exactly what officers have been doing, canvassing this area, looking for surveillance video that might help them find the gunman. That's the latest here in South Jamaica, Queens. I'm Melissa, Colorado, News 4, New York. Melissa, thanks for the latest. We have more breaking news to get to. Another shooting. This is in Manhattan. Oh boy, where in Manhattan did this happen? In Wood at a building along Sherman Avenue. We're learning, according to law enforcement sources, all three victims are male and are expected to survive. Not clear right now what led up to the shooting or who pulled the trigger. All right, let's get back to holiday travel now. That all right, so as far as this down. situation in Queens, this is where it happened. One thirty. 143rd Street and Fock Boulevard. So, pretty much this happened right by the Q... Right, right here, right by the Q40 bus stop. Not too far from it. And right here is the Van Wick. So, we do have a video that we are going to briefly play from Channel 7. Let's see if we can put it on here. New York City, this time four people shot this afternoon in Jamaica, Queens. And we've just learned one of the victims has died. Says, yeah, so this is a confirmed homicide. Helicopter seven over the scene. Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim on the ground for us with new information. Stefan. Well, Bill, this was broad daylight. By bloodshed. Let me take a step out of the way now so you can focus on that silver SUV. It's got bullet holes riddled up in it. According to cops, the four victims, the four men, were standing by the vehicle outside of it when they were approached by a man who shot at them. We should note this is a residential part of South Jamaica, Queens. It's 143rd Street and Foch Boulevard. It was one shooter, and apparently he fired, according to cops, multiple times, hitting these victims in multiple parts of their bodies, then fled. So, by the way, you want to ask yourself, is Channel One has this on their website? No, they don't. You think major breaking news like this? No. I mean, we won't see it until 10 o'clock tonight, so... There you go. I mean, look at this. Nothing on it. I mean, Channel One is so complacent. Again, whoever's running their website... They need to fire who's running the website. You know, Channel One needs to have some serious changes. Real serious changes to this, uh, for this website. Because it seems their on-air coverage is decent. So, I'm just going to pray for that family. You know, because of the shooting tonight, they're going to have one less person at their Christmas table. Or for the remainder of the holidays, whatever they celebrate. So that's pretty much it. Really unfortunate story coming out of Jamaica tonight.